Hi, my name is Carlos and I'm Chief Training Officer at HIM Training Institute. We're a medical coding organization that is housed in the study by Enderun at the fourth floor of the podium here in the Ortigas Center. HIM Training Institute offers both basic and intermediate level medical coding training courses for people that come from both healthcare and non-healthcare backgrounds. This video is part of our continuing series to introduce medical coding to the general public both as a field of study and as a career worth looking into. The following video will show you how we're able to cross ideas from human anatomy into that which is needed in medical coding. Do enjoy this next video. Let's move to our first topic, anatomy and medical terminology. The skin is the largest organ system of the body. It is made up of two primary layers, the outer epidermis and the inner dermis. And although you see there on screen, part of the drawing is the layer called the subcutaneous tissue. Formally, it is not a layer of the skin. Yung word itself is kind of indicative of what it means. Kasi the epidermis and the dermis together is called the cutaneous tissue. So subcutaneous means under the cutaneous tissue or under the skin. The epidermis on its own is composed of many types of cells. You have squamous cells and these are the flat cells found at the surface. You have your basal cells which are rounded. And you also have interspersed within them your melanocytes, which are your cells that gives your skin its own color. On screen are the different layers of the epidermis. The reference to this is in page 743 of your current year ICD-10 manual. Page 743, left column. So from the outside going in, the different layers are the following. The stratum corneum, the stratum lucidum, the stratum granulosum, the stratum spinosum, and then finally the innermost layer is called the stratum basale or stratum germinativum. Underneath the epidermis lies the dermis. And it is the dermis which performs most of the skin's function. Within the dermis are the glands, the nerve endings, the hair shafts, and other structures. While the epidermis has five layers to it, the dermis is composed of two layers. Again, from the outside going in, first you will hit the upper papillary layer and then the lower reticular layer. In your book, there is a second name for the dermis. Are you able to see it? The dermis is also called the corium. Underneath the dermis is the subcutaneous tissue which contains fat cells and acts as some sort of a cushion. The subcutaneous tissue is also called the superficial fascia or sometimes referred to as the hypodermis. Again, we are reminded that the SQ is not a layer of the skin, but it is just below the dermis. Finally, there are appendages or attachments to the skin, among which are hair, nails, sebaceous or oil glands, sweat glands, and a very small muscle called the arrector pili muscle, which is the muscle that pulls the hair straight and is responsible for giving you those goosebumps. Here's a useful tip for us. Remember that the skin is a single organ. There is no such thing as a right skin or a left skin, meaning the skin does not take on, it does not carry the laterality of the body part which it covers. Keep this in mind as this would be very useful not only for ICD-10 but even more so when we move into CPT coding. And that's your review of the anatomy and medical terminology related to the skin.